to all my geekerinos, Dante D here bringing you all another video and welcome to the channel where we talk about comic books and other geek stuff. Today I have a very, very special episode lined up for you. I have not only a comic book haul, but this particular comic book haul is going to be unlike any other you have seen before because all these comic books that you see today, you are going to have a chance to to win and have shipped to you. So as I mentioned in our video from last week, I would be explaining to you all the rules and basically tell you a little bit about the 10K subscriber giveaway. So in some videos I've done in the past, I've shown some boxes of comic books that I've tried to sell but haven't really been successful in selling them and a couple subscribers had suggested to me to, hey, maybe try doing a giveaway with them. And of course, whenever you give me suggestions, I always listen. So because you demanded it, I am delivering. So this will be the 10K subscriber giveaway. The rules of this contest are really quite simple. At the time that this video is being made, this channel has about 6.8K subscribers. Once this channel hits 10,000 subscribers, I will then start drawing, doing random draws, and mailing some of the comics that you're seeing today. So really, you have the ability to get maybe 10, 20 comics, depending on the run that I have available here. Now, I just want to tell you all in advance, nothing in here is really going to be really super valuable. This is more for readers. As you know, I care more about reading comic books than collecting for value. So everything you're gonna see here is gonna be more for people who actually like reading comic books as opposed to collectors. If you're watching this video right now and you're not subscribed to the channel, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button, preferably also follow the channel on Instagram and Twitter at GeekeryD, and that will make you eligible to win some of the comics that you're seeing today. So I'm sure by this point, you're probably tired of seeing this blank backboard here and I will start showing you some of the comics that will be given away. Now before I actually start showing you these comics, I wanna let you know there will be a subscriber giveaway at 10,000 subscribers and also at 20,000 subscribers. So help me get to 10,000 subscribers, help me get to 20,000 subscribers and you will be getting comics. You will have the chance to win comics. Do whatever you gotta do. Share the video on your social media, tell your friends about the channel, whatever you gotta do. So let's get into these lots that you will have a chance to win. I'm going to be showing these to you in no particular order. So here is the first prize that you have the chance to win and it is a run on Ms. Marvel. And if you haven't read this run, it's actually a pretty good run. I know this kind of was the start of the whole quote unquote social justice warrior movement in Marvel. But uh, if you haven't read this, it's actually pretty, pretty good. So I'll start showing you some of the covers. And I actually like a lot of uh, these covers. Really, really enjoyed this story. Um, if you don't know the significance of this run on Ms. Marvel, this is the first run on Ms. Marvel that features a Muslim superhero. I don't know if this is the first Muslim superhero. I believe DC Comics actually had uh, a Muslim Green Lantern that predates uh, Ms. Marvel. But uh, this this one for sure is significant. I know this, uh, this, this particular book and this uh, series got a lot of press when it, uh, it first came out. And I, I really like these covers. Um, was a really, really good run. Uh, this one in particular where she teams up with Wolverine, I really, um, really enjoyed. So like I mentioned, you will not be just getting one of these. You will be getting this whole lot. This is the first prize here. So this is Ms. Marvel number 11, 12, Valentine's Day edition with uh, Loki. 13, I don't even know how many of these do I have? I think I had like the first maybe 15, 16 issues. There's 14. Really cool cover here. I really like the covers from Ms. Marvel. They're really cool. 15. 
16, 17. Oh, there's uh, Captain Marvel. And 18. So this particular price here will cons consist of 18 issues of Ms. Marvel. On to our next prize now, and this prize will consist of a run on the New 52 Flash. And if you haven't read the New 52 Flash, I, I particularly enjoyed it. I, I really liked the run on the uh, New 52 Flash. I know uh, the New 52 actually got uh, a lot of hate by collectors, but I personally loved it. Uh, the New 52 is actually what really, really got me into collecting. Um, I felt like it was a, um, it was a good catching on point, a new, new, new point uh, to start getting into comics again. And uh, it, you know, ever since the New 52, I've really, really been into comic books and been reading them like crazy. And I know, I know, I've been telling you all that I've stopped buying issues of comic books, but that doesn't mean I no longer read comic books. I actually read comic books now more than ever. And, you know, in trade paperback form, even some some individual issues. But uh, yeah, the New 52 is kind of what really got me into it a lot. And here we go, number nine. Really cool covers for, for The Flash. Number 10. And this one, I believe it, this prize ends with issue number 11. So 11 comics 11 issues of the new 52 flash run is this prize on to the next prize which will be a huge run on the new 52 aquaman and i really really liked the new 52 aquaman i mean just look at that cover uh i this is probably my favorite my all-time favorite run on Aquaman. Before the New 52 Aquaman, uh, you know, he was always kind of considered as this lame superhero that people made fun of. And, you know, I know Aquaman has had some really cool runs before, but this is the run, in my opinion, that really made Aquaman badass again. They actually also poke fun at the whole Aquaman sucks thing in this uh, run on Aquaman, and uh, it, was, it was actually kind of funny. The, I, I enjoyed literally every single issue of uh, this Aquaman uh, run, and I'm actually really hesitating to give this away, but I think it's time that it moves on to somebody else. And all these comics that you're seeing today, they all come from my own personal collection. I've had them for years. I purchased them right off the shelf from the comic book store, read them once, and bagged and boarded them. Uh, most of these that you're seeing here today are in near mint condition because, like I said, I, I try to take very good care of my comics, and uh, I'm very gentle with them when I read them. And as soon as I'm done, I put them in a bag and a board. So here we go. Here's issue number 12 with Black Manta. Ooh. Also made an appearance in the uh, the Aquaman movie with uh, Jason Momoa. There we go. There's the next issue. Here's the Throne of Atlantis prelude. Uh, the Throne of Atlantis was actually a really, really good run. Really good story. I, I really liked it. And I think the storyline from the Aquaman movie is loosely based on, on this... Uh, on this particular run here. I, I, I liked it. And I think it also uh, crossed over a little bit with the with the Just, New 52 Justice League series. So there's 18. This is a really huge run. <laughs> 19. 20. 24, 25, when does this ever end? <laughs> There's, oh, and then here's Aquaman Rebirth. I, I stuck around a little bit for Rebirth, but Rebirth is actually when I, I think, stopped uh, buying new comics. I was getting tired of all the relaunches. There's another Rebirth. 
And then the, I think there are two or three, there are three issues here in which um, Aquaman crossed over with Justice League for the Throne of Atlantis run. So quite, quite an epic run here that you have the ability or the possibility to win for the 10K subscriber giveaway. Next up, we have pretty much a full run for Convergence. And uh, if you don't know Convergence, Convergence is the huge crossover event that essentially ended the New 52 and relaunched the whole DC universe. I know a lot of people actually didn't like Convergence. Uh, I personally did like Convergence. Uh, I really, really liked it. Uh, this actually was an especially uh, cool issue of Convergence um, because we have we see a Batman from an alternate universe in which Thomas Wayne becomes Batman. It was really cool to see the Bruce Wayne Batman and the Thomas Wayne Batman uh, meet. Uh, I, I, this was actually very memorable for me. I read this years ago and I still remember this story quite vividly. I really, really enjoyed Convergence. Uh, really, really cool covers. Um, rock star teams that were uh, writing here. So, uh, and, and, and again, I know a lot of people didn't like it, but uh, I liked it and I believe you probably will too. Especially because all you have to do is subscribe and it'll be free. Ha <laughs> ha. These, uh, these one shots for Convergence also um, were awesome. I even like these covers for these one shots. They're really kind of cool. There's a Superman Convergence. This kind of crosses over, I think, a little bit with the um, Lois and Clark uh, run that DC was doing at the time. Another one for Action Comics. Another one for Action Comics. Here's a Nightwing one. Nightwing and or Oracle, actually. Another Nightwing and Oracle. This is two of two. I think, sorry, these weren't one shots. I think these were two shots, I guess, if you can call them that. They, they were two issues each. Another one. Detective Comics. There's another Detective Comics one. Really cool covers for these. I, I really enjoyed these. The Flash. Another Flash. And finally, a Green Arrow one. I think I only have this one Green Arrow one because I don't think I particularly liked this one. But yeah, that's the Convergence run. And in case you're wondering, everything you are seeing for these prizes, everything is first print. And again, I'd like to reiterate, I am the first and only owner for all of these comics. I purchased them myself from the comic book store, read them once, and stuck them in bags and boards. Moving on to our next prize is a great run on Lois and Clark. And if you haven't read this, another really great run. And this run is by legendary Superman uh, writer Dan Jurgens. Uh, Dan Jurgens was one of the creators behind the infamous Death of Superman run. And... Uh, I think we have about seven issues here. If you haven't read this, it's really good. I really enjoyed it. Basically what happens is, this is a Superman from an alternate universe. Uh, I think he's from the original DC universe before the New 52. And he now finds himself in the New 52 universe. And he's an older, more experienced Superman. And he's now in a universe where there already exists a Superman. And uh, he basically tries to keep his identity secret, even from the other superheroes in this universe. And uh, it's, it's, it's really cool. And he has a family. He has, he's married to Lois. He has a kid. And his kid's just starting to learn about his powers. It, really, really good. I, I, I enjoyed this. Uh, here's the number five. The number six. Number seven number eight and i think i don't know i can't recall if this was a full run or not uh i think this book started getting delays and i was getting tired of the delays and maybe i stopped buying it but uh, i actually can't remember if this is the last issue of this run or not but uh definitely really great and worth the read and here we have a death of the family tie-in issue 
uh, prize. And this isn't the actual run on Death of the Family. Um, they did a lot of tie-in issues with the Death of the Family run for Batman uh, during the New 52. And I believe this is a lot of the uh, tie-ins. Uh, you'll notice a lot of these uh, die-cut covers. These die-cut covers were really cool. I thought they were really cool to look at. Uh, but, of course, these were very, very reminiscent of the gimmicks from the uh, 1990s. But they're still really, really cool to look at. Uh, there we go. Another cool cover there. Uh, this is also Batman Requiem. I think this is from one... Uh, Robin died for a while Robin died and yeah okay so sorry this isn't all death of the family this is actually um, the tie-in issues for when Robin died okay here's another death of the family so it's a mix of death of the family and tie-in issues from when Robin died so kind of have a little bit of a mixed bag I love this cover um, the Batgirl issues from um, from the death of the family run were especially good just because of that whole history um, and that special quote unquote relationship that the Joker and Batgirl share. Really, really enjoyed the uh, Batgirl issues for uh, death of the family and the covers were especially, especially stellar. Uh, there we go, here's another one. Oh, just look at that. Look at these covers, awesome. I know uh, there was a variant cover too with uh, the Batman uh, death of, or sorry, the Batgirl death of the family. Um, one of the issues had the uh, Joker uh, who was kind of holding a knife to Batgirl and he had like a, one of those bloody smiles drawn on her. I don't have that issue, but uh, I know it was uh, quite, a, quite the controversial cover. There we go. This is where um, the Gordon, James Gordon Jr. Uh, returns, who's uh, the psychopathic son of Commissioner Gordon. Here's another uh, die cut cover. So, so cool, so cool with these covers here. And uh, another Red Hood and the Outlaws here. And the Teen Titans die cut cover. And don't worry, I have definitely not forgotten about you horror fans out there. Uh, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you will know that besides superhero comics, I absolutely adore horror comics. I have tons of horror comics, and uh, I definitely thought that a giveaway would not be complete unless I give away at least a few horror comics. This is Lot 13. Uh, this is by the legendary Steve Niles. If you don't know who Steve Niles is, uh, he's known for uh, writing and creating the uh, 30 Days of Night uh, series, which was a really, really good uh, series. They also did a movie on that uh, series with, uh, starring Josh Harnett, and the movie was really awesome too. This is one of Steve Niles' I think lesser known uh, runs, but uh, I, I personally really enjoyed it. So I, it's a it's a five issue uh, limited series, and I I really enjoyed it. So there's number two. Number three, number four, and number five. Really fun, fun run. I, I, I enjoyed it. And here we have an Old Man Logan run. This isn't the first run on Old Man Logan, but uh, it actually was a pretty decent run. I don't think it's actually complete, but there are quite a few issues in uh, this particular prize here. And the thing that really stuck out to me in this series here was the art. The art in this series is by Andrea Sorrentino. Uh, he's one of my favorite modern artists. He just has such a such a cool art style. He also did the uh, run on Green Lantern with uh, Jeff Lemire. Just such jaw-dropping art. I love, love his art. His art's just really stand out. And uh, also, if you're wondering, a lot of people um, are probably going to be wondering. It says bonus digital edition. Some of these uh, books from this time period have little stickers that you could peel back and uh, redeem for a digital copy too. I just want to let you know, all these books have the sticker. I never peeled any of the stickers off. They are in the same condition as the day that I bought them. So 
There's number four. Wow, I just love that cover. His art is just so aggressive. He has such an aggressive style, and uh, it's just really cool, and I think it, it's really appropriate for um, a series on Wolverine. There's number five. Uh, okay, here we go. Yeah, so that is that is a complete run. And after only five issues, they relaunched it again. Um, I remember that's kind of when I had it with Marvel. Actually, that's when I kind of had it with comics when Marvel relaunched and they ran a lot of their books for maybe, I don't know, five, ten issues. And then they relaunched again. I'm like, okay, I'm done. I, I'm sick of all this relaunching. But uh, the stories were still still really cool. Look at his Hulk. I like his Hulk. Number two. Number three, number four. Ah, oh, look at that cover. That's that's very Frank Miller esque, if you ask me. I really love that cover. Uh, there's another Frank Miller esque cover, number six, kind of like Sin City style. And number seven. Oh, sorry, there's one more. Number eight. And that is the run on Old Man Logan. And here we have another mixed bag of uh, Batman New 52 titles. And I think it's from around the time that Robin died. Also, maybe some of the death of the family stuff. Uh, this is uh, Batman and Batgirl, Batman and Catwoman. The Batman and Robin title uh, after Batman, or sorry, after Robin died, uh, they actually started calling it Batman and that month, whoever um, they want, whatever character they wanted to feature. So you saw Batman and Batgirl. Here's Batman and Catwoman. There's Batman and Nightwing. Still from the Batman and Robin title, but because Robin was dead, they had to fill it with all these uh, other characters. Batman and Two-Face. Another Batman and Two-Face. I really like this cover here. It kind of reminds me of the uh, Batman animated series uh, type type art. It's really kind of cool. Another Batman and Two-Face. And I must have given up after that. <laughs> uh, here's uh, Catwoman number 14. This is a tie-in with Death of the Family. Here's Batgirl number 18. This is a tie-in with uh, with Robin dying. Red Hood and the alt Wads number 17. This is a Death of the Family tie-in. And uh, I love this cover uh, specifically because it reminds me, if you've ever seen um, Michelangelo's sculpture Pieta, uh, I think that's where um, Mary's holding Jesus of Nazareth in this same position. I always love when artists uh, kind of do covers or they draw characters with references to really famous works. Uh, this is one of those issues and I, I, I love this. This is really cool. Here's a Red Hood and the Outlaws number 18, tie in with the death of Robin. And then this is a one shot, uh, Joker's Daughter, which will be included in this uh, prize, uh, this giveaway here. Uh, was it was it kind of a kind of a cool one shot? Uh, I really enjoyed it. And I think Joker's Daughter is actually a very, very cool character. And I'm really curious to see what they do with her in the uh, future. And then uh, we also will have uh, Arkham Manor in this uh, prize as well. This was a limited series. I believe it only ran a few issues, maybe six issues, but uh, we have number one, number two, really cool art for this, uh, and Mr. Zaz makes an appearance in this. Number three, number four, number five, number six, Number seven. Oh, sorry. That was number six. This is uh, a one shot for Endgame. And that's it for that prize. And that brings us to our last prize for this giveaway. But this, just because this is the last prize for this particular giveaway doesn't mean it will be the last prize ever. Like I said, I will be doing giveaways at 10,000 subscribers and then I will also be doing another giveaway at 20,000 subscribers. But the draw will not happen for these comics until the channel reaches 10,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Help me get up to 10,000 subscribers. 
and we will do this giveaway and some of these comics could be yours. So our last prize here will be Batman Europa. This was a limited run uh, and a, a lot of the art for this was done by Jim Lee and Jim Lee, legendary artist. Uh, he, he has never disappointed me with his art. I absolutely love Jim Lee's art. So that's Batman Europa, number one. Number two. Number three. And lastly, number four. Great run. And I personally enjoyed it. These comics could be yours. Basically, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to draw names of subscribers equal to the amount of prizes they there are and whoever gets picked first will have first dibs on whatever comics they want so once again i will draw names equal to the amount of prizes they are first person will get first pick and moving down the lines hope you enjoyed this video hope you're as excited as i am for this giveaway and Let's get to this giveaway sooner than later. Help me get to 10,000 subscribers and these comics could be yours. Until next time, this is Dante D signing off. I will see you all in the next episode.